What's your name again? I can't seem to find you in Who's Who. You're definitely not of the Great Northern Flicker Woodpeckers. Are you sure you're not of the Hampton Woodpeckers? One of the oldest families in the city? They eat here all the time. I don't know. I'm just a common woodpecker. Look, I brought my money. Can't I just eat something? I'm starving. Let's see. Common woodpecker. It's got to be in here somewhere. Common woodpecker. Common woodpecker. Common... Common woodpecker? Shave only doesn't serve anything or anyone common. <laughs> Imagine that, a common woodpecker trying to eat a shave Ali. Hmm. My money! <gasps> so I'm not rich enough, huh? Wow, did you see that? I say, is that who I think it is? Oh yes, it's Lord Crinkle. You mean the Lord Crinkle? Yeah, it's Lord Crinkle, the famous polo player. The famous rich polo player. Rich, get him! Yumpin' Yiminy, it's Lord Crinkle, the famous rich polo player. <laughs> Lord Crinkle here. That's Lord Crinkle of the Oxford Crinkles. Uh, do be good and give us a menu. There's a good chap. My, you're thin for a maitre d'. Uh, Lord Crinkle, I'm over here. Huh? Did somebody say something? <laughs> uh, who said that? I did, Lord Crinkle. Huh? Over here, Lord Crinkle. Uh, where? Where? Who is this? Now, now stay still, whoever you are. <laughs> Lord Crinkle, can I show you to a table? Uh, a table? What are you doing down there? How do you expect to run a restaurant from the floor? Please, Lord Crinkle, let me show you to a table. A table? Oh, no, 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 dear boy, I couldn't do that. I'm here to scout out the restaurant for the Duke. The Duke? Yes, the Duke. He'll be here in a minute. Good evening, uh, Mr. Duke. Is this restaurant clean? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's clean. We'll see about that. Fork? <laughs> Look at this filth. Now clean that fork. I think it's clean now, Duke. Still dirty. I've got it this time. Like this? Nope. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present Her Royal Majesty, the Queen! The Queen? The Queen? <gasps> Here comes the Queen! Oh, royalty! Big money! Oh, the Queen! <laughs> Welcome to Shave Oli, Your Majesty. Ooh, you may kiss my hand. Now you may kiss the royal foot. Should be grateful that 
you are one of the select few who has kissed the royal foot. Um, have you food? Mr. Walrus. Appetizer? That was an appetizer? Uh, yes. I'll be ready for my dinner after I pay you the proper respects. Mr. Walrus, you may kneel. Kneel? You mean... <clears throat> knighthood? Your Majesty. I dub thee Sir Sweat of Walrus. I'm ready for my second course now. <coughs> Why, <Whoa, whoa, whoa. laughs> you woodpecker? <laughs> <laughs> I dub you Sir Freeloader. <laughs> I dub you Sir Mooch. <laughs> I dub you Sir Looper. I dub you Sir Slacker! <laughs> and now, as the bread rises, a show so big, it starts on channel one and ends on channel 22. Right after a word from our sponsor. Are you cold? Hungry? Do you long to be someplace warm and tropical? Then you need a Mexican cruise! <gasps> Tickets start at only $4,000! Welcome, passenger. Can I have your ticket stub? Then get! I have never had a stowaway sneak past me. And I ain't about to start now. Nachos, check. Saudi pop, check. Sardines. Check, mate. Game over. Captain, I am inspecting in eagle eye fashion any luggage that looks suspicious like. Don't have to open, don't have to open, don't have to open. And some you just don't want to open. <laughs> Some itches they just don't have a cream for. I am being demoted to deckhand. 
But, Captain, sir... Now listen here. You may have fooled the captain, you little ice monkey, but I am the sharpest hook in this here tackle box and... <laughs> ah! That critter has got to go. Yeah! <laughs> Got you. Demoted to pool boy. But Captain, sir. <laughs> Pass with caution. This vehicle makes wide turns. I'm gonna get that little penguin off this here cruise if it's the most lasting thing I ever... Huh? No, you don't, you freeloading feed bag. <laughs> Be motion to waiter. Now hold on one ice picking minute. The captain's the only one that can do that around here. Bus boy. I have never let a stowaway get away this away. I'll bag the little critter and give him a firework spectacular he'll never forget to remember. I know, I'm being demoted. To anchor. Out you go, silly little woodpecker. Oh. 
Okay, enough with the funny. I need to have my sleep. Poor little woodpecker. He has fallen from his nest. Nighty night, woodpecker. <laughs> Looks like we're both up, huh? Oh well, I might as well have a late night snack. Hmm. Oh, let's see. There's cheese, and ham, and pickles, and tomatoes, and a little bit of onion. Oh, joy. I just can't wait to sink my tusks into this sandwich. <gasps> oh, what? Where's the... But... Hmm. I don't even remember eating all that stuff. Ooh. I better get some sleep. My mind is going all kerplunky. <laughs> Ah, the boy, come and get it. Who is yingling my bell? Night mailman. I don't know of any night mail. Special delivery. Jumping Jupiter, just what I need. Like a boat more than a fjord. <laughs> no more sleepless nights for me, Woodpecker. <sighs> Some weirdo digging up my lawn. No, I don't know who it is. Just come and get them out of here. Hmm. Hmm. What is going on here? Aha! Woodpecker. So you're the weirdo trench digger. All right, buddy, let's go downtown. Ooh, that sounds lovely. Uh, at least it's nice and quiet here. I can be getting the rest I need. By me? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Don't go away. I'll be back soon with another cartoon. <laughs>
must be what gets the signal from the helmets. Now, when I feel like clobbering Mimi, I won't get it. She will. <laughs> hey, Woodpecker, what's that funny-looking thing on your neck? Oh, it's your head! Ha-ha! <laughs> 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 That's it, you screwy walking feather bed! <laughs> Man, this sure isn't working like I wanted. Aha! So the woodpecker's trying to liven things up, is he? All righty. This is for drying your laundry in my microwave. This is for selling my bagpipes without telling me, you penny pinching, cactus loving, loony excuse for a landlady. This is for buying it back and serenading me at 2 a.m. Well, I think they should be cured by now. <laughs> My clinic! Oh, no! Woodpecker, you look like a drowned rat. Crazy Woodpecker! Crazy Woodpecker's crazy landlady! Look what you did with your crazy woodpecker landlady kind of fighting! I don't fight! Mommy. <laughs> well, I guess there's one thing we can agree on, Meanie. That doctor and his therapies are crazy! Yep, I am world-renowned commercial fisherman, Smedley Hook'em and Keep'em, the Salmon King. And I'm just about to reel in another big one. Well, I'll be. I ain't never seen a fish like you before. What are you, some kind of hairy? A pike? A halibut? Hold on one lure fleckin' minute. You ain't no fishy. You're a penguin. A self-respecting commercial fisherman always tosses back the little ones. Time for this angler to get back to the cannery with the catch of the day. I know what you're thinking. A world-renowned fisherman and a pilot, too? Yup, I'm what you might call a renaissance man. <laughs> it's kind of drafty up here in the wild blue yonder. Huh? Drafty and noisy. I'll just switch on the autopilot whilst I go have a little look-see. Huh? Come back here, you little stowaway. This here's a non-penguin flight, so I'm sending you back home. Air mail delivery like. Huh? Hmm. Thought I had this baby flying perfectly level like. Now I know I've heard that sound before. Persistent little penguin. Goodbye. Oh, 
A hard-working commercial fisherman needs nourishment to sustain his strength. I swear, it's getting so a man can't even have a moment's peace to enjoy the fruits of his labors. And stay out, you freeloading fish napper! Nothing like rewarding yourself for a job well done, I always say. <laughs> Will I be a Marlin's mama? I never knew penguins could fly. <laughs> yep, that boy is positively starting to fry my flounder. <laughs> And stay down this time, you little salmon swiper! Ten. Nine. Huh? Okay. One and lift off. You know, a skilled pilot sure would be lost without his trusty map. I better employ my old fashioned flame splitter. Okay, you little seafood snatcher, the jig is up. You come back here and take what's coming to you, you tuxedo wearing varmint. That's funny. Almost feels like I'm running downhill. Holy mackerel! I plumb forgot to turn on the autopilot! Uh-oh. I pulled the wrong lever. My precious cargo! Lost my precious cargo and nearly lost my plane. This is all your fault, penguin. Ah! I am gonna bait and hook you when we get down from here, boy. What the? Hey, come back here, you little deserter. It's the family curse of the Hikapukters. <laughs> no! Phew. It almost destroyed my best Swedish meatball trophy. <laughs> my grandmama says the only cure is to stand on your head and drink a glass of vodka. Whoa! Oh, let me help her. I'll never get any sleep. Now, let's get you into those boots. Hey, this is gonna work. 
Then we'll both get some sleep. Trust me. Okay. I trust... Oh, Ferd! <laughs> <laughs> Pack. Uh, Get off of me, you... <laughs> Wait a second. Aunt Fern used to cure her hiccups by holding her breath. Hey, Wally, buddy, I know how to stop your heek and duper poopers. No way, Woodpecker. Your antidotes are too dangerous. I'll cure myself. Hmm. Eh, uh, you couldn't cure a ham, Wally. <laughs> Hold your breath. Hold it. My Aunt Fern swears by this remedy. <laughs> That's it, Wally. Hold it right there. Hey, Wally, say, Wally, what time you got, Wally? Well, it's a quarter to... Skunk! Hold this and your breath. <laughs> Hold it, Wally. Hold it. I promise you don't want a whip of this stuff. <laughs> it worked, didn't it? I broke the curse of the Hinkle Hoopa Whatchamacallits. Hinkle <laughs> Oh, that does it. Stay away from me, Woodpecker. You're a curse. <laughs> you, you're worse than any Hickapookters. Okay, fine. I know when I'm not appreciated. Good night! <laughs> What's this gonna take? Boo. Ah, oh, Ferd. Boo. Oh, Ferd. So, he wants to scare the hiccups away, hmm? Well, then I'm just what the doctor ordered. <laughs> oh, it's no use. Oh, the end is near. Oh, at least I still have you, my pride and shining joy. <laughs> Scaring him doesn't work. Holding his breath doesn't work. Drinking water upside down doesn't... Wait a minute. These Heakin poopers are so bad. Maybe I gotta do all three cures at once. Dad, Woodpecker, no! It is the only thing I got left. The sun's coming up, Wally. Neither of us has slept a wink. I'll let her drop if you don't stop the hiccups! Holding raft, check. Inflatable raft, just add water. Okay. <laughs> Okay, that should do it. Say, I'm from the Book of World's Records, and I hear someone has a record-breaking case of the Hikapookters. That'd be him. Well, if they are truly record-breakers, I'd like to present the lucky victim with this check for one million dollars! A million dollars? Why, sure. He's got the super-duper Hikapooper thingies. I'm his agent, and I'll need a cut of that cash when he... You get nothing, Woodpecker! I give you a world record, Hikapookter. Yeah, you bet. <laughs> okay. Guess I'll go see about that guy on Maple Street who can whistle with his toes. Wait. Yeah, please. Wait. No, wait. I can do this. Just wait a minute. Just wait a minute. Well, at least now I can finally get some shut-eye. <sighs> finally. 
Well, joint for free? That's it? <laughs> He's a live one, all right. But this is too good to pass up. You're in luck, Gunter, because playing just happens to be my middle name. <gasps> goody, 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 goody! Then here's our new secret buddy handshake! <laughs> what a very annoying kid. But I was a kid once, too, you know. This is the life. Relax all day, relax all night. And just come up with simple ways to keep old Gunter occupied. Hey! Woody, woody, woody! We play Navy battle now! Yeah, yeah, whatever floats your boat, kid. I'll use this boat. You go get your own. Aye, aye, woody! That ought to keep him busy for a while. There's a napping. I'll be a tapping. Oh, and now for my second course. Ah! Oh, Mr. Bad Woodpecker Guy, you thought you could escape Uber Duper Man! Freebies. I'm out of this joint. Thank <laughs> you. 
can't keep this woodpecker down. <sighs> oh, no! <laughs> you keep finding me, Woody! Oh, Vader Zing, Gunter. Hmm. Now a quick dip in the neighbor's moat. And I'm out of here. Holy yodeling! Mm. My wish came true. A new best friend. Oh, no. Not another one. Now I have someone to play with. Happy, happy, happy day. Oh, Woody. Huh? Oh, yeah. So you want someone to play with, do ya? <laughs> Yodelodele, he got her. Oh, I found you. I found you. Gunter, meet your new best friend. Oh, woof. You have come to play with Frida. Um, yo? You're it, you're it. <laughs> okay, you throw me. Now play nice. <sighs> now for some Bavarian napping. Ah, oh, you missed me. Now you gotta kiss me. <laughs> and now for the highlight of our tour, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, it's the famous Peckingham Castle. Stay together. You may catch a glimpse of the Queen if you're lucky. <gasps> the Royal Kitchen. Oh, it's been my lifelong dream to be the Queen's Royal Chef. <laughs> yes, Your Majesty. Cream puffs and eclairs flambe. I can whip those up right away. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> I am so sorry. Is that the way for a royal cooking assistant to behave? Royal cooking assistant? No, it is not. I am the great Volley Voris, the Queen's new royal chef from Sweden. This my first day here, and I got to make my famous Swedish taffy for Her Highness in less than one hour. You will assist the great chef Wally, yeah? <gasps> wow. If I can prove to chef Wally that I'm a good cook, I could become a real royal chef. Now, Woodpecker, work, work, work. Utensils present and accounted for, sir. Out of my way and check the taffy's taffiness. Check the taffy's taffiness? Aye, aye, sir. Please. Some salt water. I need a bit of honey. Gooey marmalade. Yeah, a bit of chewing gum. We did a what in the name of all flaming fjords! <laughs> Turn off the machine! Oh no! What lever do I use? Whoa! Shut it down! Die! I guess down was wrong. No, Chef Wally, please. Just let me cook something and you'll see that I'm a real kitchen magician. No way, Houdini. You'll do your magic on these. Grease them all in five minutes or you're fired. Hmm. How am I going to grease all these pans that fast? The dishwasher. Like I always say, when in doubt, improvise. <clears throat> this butter should do the trick.
What are you trying to do? Ruin me! What's this? Oh no! Take that and 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 two of those! All done! <laughs> oh no! Be late! Woodpecker, finish the taffy! If you mess up, I'll see the only place you cook is in the Royal Dungeon. Everything happens to Bali. The recipe's all in Swedish. Oh, here goes nothing. I'll add some honey. And maybe a dash of this, a pinch of that. Yeah, I'm all over this dessert. You bet! I hope that taffy assistant's got my taffy ready. Oh, maybe I used a little too much of this and that, or that and the other. <laughs> that doesn't smell like my taffy. <laughs> Look at what you did to my famous taffy. <laughs> is responsible for this. Oh, well, uh, Your Majesty, uh, this one right here, my assistant, she is responsible for everything. She did it all. You're an assistant? Not anymore. That's right. You're fired. Fired? Why, I'm promoting her. <laughs> what? Winnie, you are my new royal chef. Yeah, I love this. And Wally, you're demoted to assistant. Be the world's greatest royal chef! No, no! I am the greatest chef in the world, not her! You can't do this! I will appeal to the speed. Oh, don't be too hard on him, Your Highness. He means well. He's just a little stuck on himself. <laughs> oh, 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 how droll! Very amusing! Oh, thank you, Highness. <laughs> could hit his 500th home run, and I'm going to catch it. <laughs> one for the front row, please, bub. There's only one ticket left for the game, and it's in the cheap seats. OK. Huh? Sold! Hey, what's the big idea? That's my ticket. Not anymore, funny little man. <laughs> Home run. I'd say it was more of a foul ball. <laughs> hey, no. Strike one. No. Strike two. <laughs> Steer right three. You're out. And I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> Allow me, little Mr. Chicken Taker. A superbular catch by moi. <laughs> huh, now, where did that ball game busting bully go? <laughs> Enjoy your grub, Bob. Why, you little... <laughs> so long, sap. Cheap seats way out that way. My, my. How convenient and whatnot. I was just looking for this. <laughs> Hmm. Team Mask 
mascot, Rocky the Boy Rocket. I know just how I'll give that guy a seat. On the moon! <laughs> rah, rah, etc. Go Rockets! <laughs> Attention, sports fans! Attention! Rocky the Boy Rockets Lucky Seat Contest is about to begin. <sighs> a contest? Oh, and I didn't study. That's right, ladies and germs. Who is the lucky one seated in aisle O? Oh. Oh. Exit me. Oh, I hate alphabetical order. This hurts my head. I'll O, as in, oh my gosh, I'm a big dumb bully with the winning ticket. Okay. One, two, L, seven, M, N, carried it. Three, oh, 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 bingo! That's me! Row 57, seat nine. <laughs> what do I win? <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Rockets don't have red hair. Do they? No! Apparently, today's seventh inning stretch festivities are starting early. Give me back my ticket! Oh, that's gonna leave them seeing stars. Just get hit by a turnip truck, you know. Well, not yet, anyway. Stealing your ticket was wrong and disconsiderable of me. Please, you take the seat. No, you take it. No, you take it. It's all yours. No, it's all yours. No, I insist. You, me, you, me. My, oh, my, and there's a deep drive into left field by Pepper McCracken. It could, it might, it may be out of the ballpark. Gee, you know, I will take this seat. Whoever catches McCracken's 500 home run ball will be the winner of front row season tickets. Woohoo! Thank you, yes, sir. Yes! Holy shamoly! What a spectacular catch by the Woodpecker fan in center field! Say, Sporto, why don't you just keep the seat after all? It's, it's a good seat. I, I like it. It's all mine. 